Hey, what up everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you with the United We Slam. The best of the Great American and Bash two disc Blu-ray set. Picked this up the other day in the uh, WWE shop clearance. I guess it really wasn't clearance. I think it was just a sale, but uh, it was a damn good deal. 50% off. Uh, I didn't pick this up mostly because of the network and just having a whole bunch of stuff out there. And uh, I could have watched all these matches if I wanted to, but it's always easier when they're in a collection like this, but I just didn't feel like going out and, uh, and, and paying full price for a, a new DVD. Uh, well, I guess this is a Blu-ray. Uh, when I got the network, and I already have a ton of stuff to watch on there, but I'm glad to add this to the collection. Uh, Great American Bash was a great um, uh, pay-per-view for uh, WCW that was created by Dusty Rhodes there on the cover on the left-hand side. And, um, you know, it, it made its return to WWE. There's there's sadly no WWE uh, matches on there. When I always think of the Great American Bash, the WWE recreation, I think of the inflated liver enzymes issue when they first instated the wellness policy. Uh, and on the day of the pay-per-view, or it might have been the night before, um, like six people who were supposed to compete in even the main events of the pay-per-view, uh, mostly Great Khali in the first ever uh, Punjabi prison match, uh, were, were taken off the show due to suspension. Um, well, I guess not really suspension, just for their, their, their better being. But there's the cover. Uh, Sting on the cover there with the red, white, and blue. Uh, he's been on the cover of a few of these WCW magazines, or not WCW DVD releases this year. Uh, a lot of people thinking, that, you know, every single one, maybe he'll come back and, and give us some sort of a, a debut in the WWF. We've seen him on the WWE Network. Uh, we just haven't seen him on Raw or SmackDown yet. But these are pretty cool looking discs. Uh, you know, the red and yellow, uh, and then you got the uh, blue and yellow over there. Uh, nice looking discs, and then we'll go in to see what's actually going to be on the set. They're right there on that little spindle. That works perfect. Um, can't see underneath the uh, the bottom there. Oh, Ric Flair versus Nikita Koloff. Uh, this is from the Great American Bash 1985. Uh, they got some matches on here with uh, commentary with Dusty Rhodes and Larry Sabisco. I don't know if, you know, when this first got started, the Great American Bash was sort of like a WCW traveling house show. Uh, maybe there's video of this, but no audio, so maybe they had to go in and redo it. I don't know if they're dubbing over somebody else or what the story is. I know sometimes they'll uh, edit out um, Jesse Ventura on WWE DVD and Blu-ray re releases, uh, not wanting to pay him his royalties, and uh, maybe that might be a reason also. And I'm not sure what years uh, Zabisco came in, uh, but we'll have some good old tag team action there with the Rock and Roll Express going up against the Andersons. Um, then we got uh, Ric Flair versus Dusty Rhodes. Uh, that's going to be a, a steel cage match for the NWA Championship. Uh, we got the Road Warriors, Dusty Rhodes, Nikita Koloff, uh, going up against Ric Flair, Arn, Arn Anderson, Tully Blanchard, Lex Luger, and J.J. Dillon. That's a War Games match. Sting and Luger against the uh, against the Road Warriors. Uh, Sting versus the Great Muda, great match from 1989. Uh, Flair versus Terry Funk, that's World Loan, uh, from 1989 as well. That was a match they recreated in 1999, uh, uh, 10 years later, uh, with uh, um, WCW. I believe they did that match on Thunder, um, and they did it as a um, Falls Count Anywhere, or some, 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 some sort of deal with the DDT on top of the announce table. Uh, Sting versus Flair, 1990. Steiners versus the Freebirds, and we got... Um, Dang, I can't read that one. Then we got Sting versus Vader on the bottom. Then we got Getting Back on Track. Uh, here we are with 1995 going with Macho Man Randy Savage going up against Ric Flair. Um, WCW responds to the Outsiders Challenge. That's, of course, going to be where uh, uh, Eric Bischoff gets powerbombed uh, through the table by Holland Nash. Uh, DDP versus the Macho Man. Uh, that's from uh, 1997. Ultimo Dragon versus Psychosis. Get, get a little bit of the uh, the guys from the mid card, and here's another one right there. Dean Malenko versus Chris Jericho. Uh, and then we got uh, Roddy Piper and the Macho Man going up against Hulk Hogan and Bret the Hitman Hart. That doesn't sound like it's gonna be good. Anything with Bret Hart and Hogan tagging up just doesn't sound like a great match. DDP versus Mike Awesome in an ambulance match. Jeff Jarrett versus Kevin Nash. And now we're getting into the uh, ooh the dog days. Oh, no, we got the bonus ones. That's it. <laughs> that's disc one. That's disc two. And then here's your, uh, looks like your Blu-ray special features. Flair versus Luger. Uh, Sting versus Nikita Koloff. Ric Flair and Arn Anderson going up against Kevin Green and Steve McMichael. I guess that's the uh, the turn uh, with Mongo joining the Four Horsemen. And then we have Kevin Nash and Macho Man uh, from 99. 
uh, doing it up. Pretty short match listings there. I uh, must have longer matches on here. Maybe this didn't fill it up. But uh, Stars and Stripes and Superstars. You got Sting. Uh, you got uh, Muda in the Ultimate. Oh, it's Psychosis in the Ultimate Dragon. I apologize. Got the big names on there. Only really hyping up the uh, alternative commentary. Uh, normally, they put a few matches on there. So when you pick this up at the store, I don't know if it's for the fringe fans or maybe the people who don't go on WrestlingDVDNews.com. Uh, they're no, they're going to know what they're going to buy. But they just sort of put name value on here. I mean, there's good value in, uh, in, in the matches that are in there. They just don't really tell you what, what they are. And it um, seems like it's going to be good stuff. Can't go wrong. Great American Bash. Blu-ray. Peace out.